Well, hello and welcome to another episode from the Water's Edge. We're down here today in a nice private lake we've been given a permission to fish. And it's a bit different to what you normally see me on the hustle and bustle of commercials and the match style of fishing. We're going to take a bit more chilled approach and hopefully catch a few fish. Now we don't really know what's in here, it's an unfished water pretty much. We've heard the odd room of the odd big bream, a few tench and maybe even a carp so we really don't know. Tonight what we're going to be doing is going to be pre-baiting, then we'll come back early tomorrow and hopefully have a few fish on the spot that we've got ready. I'll show you how I would go about pre-baiting, nice and cheap, nice easy method, and it will enhance your fishing if you get such a lucky opportunity to have a pre-baiting opportunity. Anyway, let's get on and show you what we're going to do. Well, as I said, I don't really know much about this lake, so what I've just brought down here is I've just got the feeder rod that I'm going to be using tomorrow, and I've flipped on a one ounce lead. I'm just going to be making a few casts around the lake to try and sort of get a mental picture in my head, really, of, of what's going on. As the lead's hitting the water, I'm counting down the depths until it's hitting the bottom. That'll give me roughly depth indications. If there's any weed or anything like that, that will also let me know. I noticed straight away there I've just cast in some weed so you don't want to be baiting up there you just be wasting your time as a safe sort of bet if you can try and find a bit of gravel because a lot of fish will feed confidently on gravel and when you don't really know much about the lake it's probably is the safest bet so we're just gonna keep moving around this point till we manage to find a nice little spot and this time it's, it's not in weed I felt that hit the bottom with a, about seven seconds so with an ounce lead that's going to roughly be about seven foot what I'll do is I'll keep doing this for a bit until I'm happy with the spot I've found and then we'll get the bait in Right, well I think that's the spot. I've had a cast sort of all around this point that we're sitting on and the depth change is amazing really, about 12 foot and over there where I've actually chosen I found a nice little spot of gravel on about 4 or 5 foot of water. Now it is expected to be hot tomorrow and it's been hot today so I've opted for the slightly shallow area because hopefully if there is any fish around that's probably where they're going to be. Basically I'm going to leave that clipped up now so tomorrow when we turn up we can cast straight on that spot and I'm also going to use that as my marker for when I'm going to be balling in some ground bait in the pre-bait that we talked about earlier. So let's get on with that now. The bait I'm going to be using to pre-bait this swim today is not really anything sophisticated it's just going to be half bags of what I've got a few pellets a bit of corn from the cupboard I mean nice and cheap I don't think these fish have really been fished for so they're not going to be too wary of whatever's going in there but we do need to put quite a bit in because we want them to be switched on to the bait by the time we get here tomorrow so that's why I'm saying try and keep it cheap whatever you've got just grab it and sort of put it together there's no formula or amounts just whatever you feel so we can nicely bind it into balls because we're going to be putting it into a big ground bait catapult. We'll put as many balls out as we've just got here today. Now again, we don't really need sophisticated baits. We're not competing against anyone. We're the only ones fishing here. I really don't think it's necessary. So all I'm going to do is literally, I'm going to put it in two buckets just purely for the reason that we're mixing so much up. I'm probably not going to be able to fit it in one. Like I said, all these bags are half used. And what I've used in my matches and stuff like that. They don't, it doesn't really matter what you're putting in. We've got a bag of half used pellets here as well. They'll go in. We've got a couple of tins of corn straight from the cupboard. Again, there's, there's pennies there. Straight in as well. Don't worry about the form. The only thing to be careful of is don't put too many particles in there that you're not going to be buying it with your ground bait. Make sure you've got enough with you. I've also just got some dead maggots as well. Just for hopefully there's a few little fish in here and if there is any bream or tench or anything, they'll see them grubbing around on them. 
and hopefully they'll take an interest as well. And then just brown crumb, cheap as it comes really, can't get much cheaper than that. That'll go in there as well. Now it's pretty much a case of just mixing those two together really. I've got all the water here. This could take a while. Just you want it to get it nice and sticky. So you can make it into a good ball. There's loads of particles in there. Well, that's that bucket pretty much done. Quickly move that aside and crack on with this one. Try not to make it too wet, but you want it wet enough to squeeze into nice sized balls. We've got a bit more water over here. Mix nice and slowly. You can smell it already, I mean, it's going to be nice and appealing when it gets out there to fish that aren't too used to anglers' bait. And that one is pretty much done already. All that's going to be in our case of is moulding all these balls together in a nice sort of tennis ball, slightly smaller size, like that, and we'll get those out. We've got about 50 of these to do, so we'll crack on with that. We'll catch up with you in a minute. Well, that's the last one done. My arms and my wrists are completely knackered, but that's going to be worth it tomorrow, hopefully. Now it's just a case of getting them out in your swim. Well, now the slightly more fun part. We've got the marker on the far side. We're going to use a big, big white tree, so we'll definitely know where that is tomorrow. We know the distance we clipped up earlier, it's now just a case of getting them out there. Get everything to hand, my balls are right next to me there in the bucket. Nice flat surface we're going to be standing on to make sure it's all okay. Get in a nice rhythm, try land them in roughly the same area. We're going to do sort of a half decent spread, maybe the size of a couple of cars, two or three cars, to get a good area where they're milling around. But then at least we know we're in the right area tomorrow. Well let's get cracking. Well, we're on the last couple of balls now. There's been a lot of bait going in there. Last one. And that's done. Like I said, done a nice little spread. Hopefully over the night they're going to really get their heads down in that. And tomorrow could be brilliant. I'm really excited. I haven't done this much before. So the opportunity to give this sort of thing a go is going to be brilliant. We'll catch up again tomorrow. And we'll hopefully see a few fish on the bank.